Hi, I look like literal death right now. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you know that I have a comedy show coming up and if you would like to come, I would love to freaking see you there. It is live comedy based on a special guest's stories from high school, very fun comedians, a very fun time. I'm so excited to be a part of it. What the fuck, what date is it? It's uh, Friday, November 12th, 8 p.m. All the information will be in the description below along with where to get tickets. If you're in Toronto or in that general Toronto area or just love comedy, please come out. It'll be so much fun. Hell yeah, yeehaw, howdy. Let's do the video, bitch. No, we're not saying bitch. I won't say it. I'm sorry for calling you a bitch. That wasn't okay. Hi, hello, how are you? How are you doing? I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for joining me. Happy Halloween to all my ghouls, my goblins, my six foot skeletons out there. I love Halloween. Literally my favorite holiday, probably of all time. Sorry, Christmas. Easter, don't know why you thought it'd be you. I really don't. So we're doing a little special treat. Or is it a trick? And we're not talking about books today. No, no, no. Today we're talking about my current obsession. Every once in a while, in my own personal life, I become so enamored with a certain subject matter. I become obsessed with it and then I research it. It's like I'm studying to complete a PhD dissertation in whatever my current focus is. Sometimes it's very helpful and it's something educational. Other times, like this time, it's literally useless. It's useless internet garbage. But unfortunately for all of you, everyone in my life has said, Carly, we cannot hear about this anymore. We do not care. We are not interested. We do not want to hear about this anymore. So I'm dumping it on you. I'm dumping it on you, quite frankly. And that is the existence of the restaurant slash business slash fever dream Garfield Eats. If you don't know. And why would you? Truly. Garfield Eats was, rest in peace, a Garfield themed restaurant slash takeout place here in Toronto, Ontario. You know, Canada has a lot of great things going for it. We have a pretty high standard of living, good social security net, and, and also we do have Garfield Eats. It's a Garfield themed restaurant and it's owned by a gentleman, a visionary by the name of Nathan Masri. And he just, he just bought the IP for Garfield and was like, we are going to make a restaurant. I can't explain to you why I'm enamored with this. I think it's just like something I could not ever fathom. It's just a fever dream. I'm obsessed with it. And I also do have to respect the nostalgia of it all. You know, we're gonna tap into the nostalgia of Garfield. And I love nostalgia. I mean, I'm a 90s baby, if there ever was one. <laughs> I was born in July 1999, so like, the, I mean, man, those five months I spent in the 90s, rock and roll, dude, the best five months of my life, because all I did was shit in a diaper, drink titty milk, and live my best damn life because I didn't know my parents were gonna die or I was gonna die. We love the 90s for that, we really do. So I just thought today we would review together the Garfield Eats <laughs> web series documentary, <laughs> and I wanna watch it. But no one in my life will watch it with me. And like, fair enough, I am annoying. And I have just been messaging everyone in my life nonstop being like, let's talk about Garfield Eats. What do you think about Garfield Eats? Let's discuss Garfield Eats. And they're like, we're done. So now we're gonna watch it together. Hi, welcome to this corner of my room. Since I've got you here, I thought we'd just take a little time out and discuss this video sponsor, Casetify. Casetify carries a huge variety of different phone cases, different colors, different designs, designs to fit your everyday mood. You can choose from their curated designs and curated prints, or you can design your own custom phone case. I love that Casetify's new impact and ultra impact cases are actually made up of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. Casetify's Chi-Tech 2.0 cases actually offers drop test protection of up to 9.8 feet for their ultra impact cases. Their cases are also wireless charging and 5G compatible, their new impact and ultra impact cases are 100% BPA free, 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. Their cases also feature Defensify, which is an antibacterial coating that kills 99% of germs. Casetify actually sent me a couple cases. First of all, 
well is this one. It says my name on it. And also, I mean, so I could literally do this all day. This is a little bit more clear, but the same thing. I just like things that move and can distract me. Like I'm gonna do this all day. I also got two of their printed phone cases. The first one is actually a part of their Space Jam collaboration. It's got Bugs Bunny on it. I'm just a big Space Jam fan. The other one I can't show you now because it's actually on my phone. I'll show you some B-roll. It's part of their collaboration with the Louvre. It's got beautiful art on it. I just love it. I had it for my old phone upgraded recently to the iPhone 12 and I got the same one because I'm literally obsessed with it. I think it looks so sick. So Caseify seems like the kind of product that might be right for you. Head to the link in the top of my description. It's casetify.com slash uncarly and you'll get 15% off your new phone case. Use it if you got the new iPhone 13 or if you got anything below that too. You're good to go. And that's everything. Thank you so much to Caseify for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. So without further ado, let's watch Love Me, Feed Me, Don't Leave Me with Nathan Masri, the Garfield Eats documentary. <laughs> this is 22,000 views. That's fucking crazy. Love me, feed me, don't leave me. Is this an original song? <laughs> We're already starting it at 10. I don't know what I was expecting from a documentary about a restaurant that is now closed, themed after a comic strip from the 50s, but it wasn't an original song going, love me, feed me, don't leave me. Okay, we're in for a treat. We're starting at a 10. I'm Nathan Masri. I'm the co-founder of Garfield Eats. Oh, and this is Garfield Masri. Oh, hi Garfield. That's pretty cute. Do I look like a villain? Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm sure you're a nice guy. Yes, yes. Side note for anybody wondering, um, because I am deeply entrenched in the Garfield Eats discourse online, Nathan Masri is now pro-celibacy. That's just his new thing that's going on right now. He does, he just is not gonna fuck. He's just decided to not fuck. And that's, uh, and, uh, <laughs> You do with that information what you will. Never hungry or alone. Got food eats app on your phone. So download Got Food Eats app today. It's, I, okay, so I thought it was an original song, and now I know it is because the bridge is Download Garfield Eats app today. We're 48 seconds in, and I feel like I've experienced a lifetime of content. I also love that the employees of Garfield Eats, the poor, poor employees of Garfield Eats, have to participate in this. Whenever I worked in food service, I was inches away from ending it all, and I never had to film a documentary, so hats off to these comrades. You must love your job or just love your life, because if I ever had a boss, be like, we're filming a documentary. We're filming a documentary about this workplace. I'd be like, that's so funny because actually I don't work here anymore. Garfield eats. Life is short. Eat now. Is that their slogan? Life is short. Eat now. Like, what if that was just anybody else's slogan? Fucking Apple's new slogan is just, life is short. Buy a phone. You can't argue with it, but it's also just like not effective. Nathan Masri has done it all. Jet setting across the globe founding and selling his own ad agency at age 24, studying acting alongside Ryan Gosling. You're, we're just gonna skip over the fact that you acted with Ryan Gosling. We're just gonna skip. We're just gonna skip over that. We're just gonna skip. We're not gonna see any of that. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. But the most exciting challenge of all is still in store for Nathan. Running the hottest Garfield themed restaurant in the world. Is the competition that steep though? Like is the competition for the hottest Garfield themed restaurant that steep? I feel like he's done it already. Cause I can't, is there another Garfield restaurant? Like that's like me being like the next challenge for Carly Thorne. <laughs> Running the hottest restaurant in the world that serves only steaming hot piles of shit and piss to kids. Like, yeah, no one's done that. I feel violated. I feel violated. Nathan Masri, I will be seeking emotional damages for that. I'm Michelle and I'm the manager of Garfield Eats. Hi Michelle. This should always have the Garfield Eats app like that. I can't believe what I saw. Where is the Garfield Eats app? What happened with the tablets? It's off. It was, it was updating. Yeah. yeah, it's updating. When, when was it updating? Yes. Obsessed that this documentary about the hottest Garfield themed restaurant in the world is shot like an episode of The Real Housewives, The Real Housewives of Garfield Eats. And I don't know if as a business owner, if I would make a documentary about myself and then have the opening scene be me fighting with my employees. Just me kind of rolling into work in a bright orange suit being like, 
Why is the app off? Why is the, what's going on with the tablets, Michelle? I love those masks. Isn't it creative? It's so creative. It's so, it's what do you mean it's okay? It's fine. I designed them. They're great. They're lovely. They're There's so much to unpack there. First of all, he wants the Garfield masks restocked in the store because he had merch. I literally never stepped foot in Garfield Eats when it existed. It's the biggest regret of my life, but I guess they sold Garfield masks and he goes, I love these. Aren't they creative? I designed them. So I actually do have to, you know, put some respect on the table for Nathan for just openly seeking validation and I relate to that don't put that back he just touched his mouth to it don't put that back against uv protection flexible the material they came from all the way from dubai like i got the best quality for the fans see what i mean i love her poor woman is just doing her job and he's like i get the best material for the mask for the fans don't you agree michelle am i creative michelle and she's like yeah devon is the new guy nathan calls me devon but it's actually devon i no notes on that just no notes on calling Devin Devon for literally no reason. Devon is your typical Hollywood. Blonde, Caucasian, and blue eyes. Well, you know what? He's gonna be in the front, because he sells. Sometimes I think that Nathan favors me because I'm white, and I don't know how to feel about that. It's important to know that he, Nathan, the owner of Garfield Eats, he made this, and we're th Four minutes into the video and he has harassed his employees and just openly stated that he's putting the white man worker with blue eyes in the front of the store. This is absolutely batshit insane. You measured the chocolate? Nathan is so obsessed with these garfuccinos. Imagine you're talking to your friend and she's like complaining about work and she's like, fuck my boss. And you're like, oh, what did he do? And she's like, he's fucking obsessed with the Garfield chinos. And you're like, I'm sorry, I think I had an aneurysm because i don't know what you just said she's like no garfield chinos some say garf barf well that's whom i call enemies you know what why can't we call them frenemies i'm sorry i feel like somebody put fucking lighter fluid in my coffee this morning some people call garf barf well i call those people enemies why can't they be frenemies i have nothing to joke about there that's just not a sentence i know that there's no chemicals in it i feel that there's no right yes and it tastes good you said that you're not just saying that because you want to keep your job right before I was like, I feel like he's gonna fire Michelle in this. Now I think he's gonna kill Michelle. Now I think he's gonna put Michelle in Garfield bite. I think he's gonna kill her. You love the Garfuccino, right? You said it was really good, right, Michelle? You're not just saying that, Michelle, because I have a knife to your throat, right, Michelle? You wanna keep your job? Tell the people at home how much you love the Garfuccino, Michelle. Oh, I'm focused. It's like a rush of joy. Garfield Eats. When are they coming? No, 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 forget that. That's for lasagna. <sighs> Michelle, remove it now. Remove it now. And that's the end of the first episode of Garfield Eats, Love Me, Feed Me, Don't Leave Me with Nathan Mosry. We're seeing a lot of drama in the next episode. It seems like he might yell at Michelle. Something bad happens. I have a lot of thoughts. Couple things to take away from this. I don't know what's in a Garfuccino. It, I, I feel like it could be human bones. I feel like it could be bones from people who have smited the name of Garfield. But also Nathan, if you're watching this icon, love you. Please don't murder me. Please don't kill me. I have so much to live for and all of my viewers if i go missing just call the cops and tell them about this video because i feel like i could go missing after this just girly things what a time we've had thank you so much for watching if you want to see more please subscribe if not you don't have to you know free will exists free will exists all of my information will be in the description below my instagram my story graph my p.o box if you want to send me any thing at all. Hope you liked this video. Hope you had a good time. And other than that, I'll see you soon. Bye. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down.